Hey, hey, and welcome to the final episode of my bottle episode. Today we are going to finish up with a bottle that's just hung on chain. It's pretty simple, but you know, actually getting the wire around the top of the bottle and to little loops even on the sides can be a little fiddly, so don't give up on it. Just squeeze that wire, hold it tight, and hook it around there, and you'll get it. We're going to finish up by talking about Japanese urban legends. So, let's get started. A Japanese urban legend. Now, I'm going to mispronounce this, I'm sure. Nihon no Tishu Densetsu is a story in Japanese folklore which is circulated as true. These urban legends are characterized or, by originating in or being popularized throughout the country of Japan. These urban legends commonly involve paranormal entities or creatures who encounter and attack humans but the term can also encompass widespread non-supernatural rumors in popular culture. Urban legends in the former category rarely include the folklore yukai, instead of being primarily based on the contemporary examples of yurai. Modern Japanese urban legends tend to occur in schools or urban settings and can be considered cautionary tales. Natural Legends 1932, Shirokiya Department Store Deaths On the 16th of December 1932, the Shirokiya Department Store fire in Tokyo resulted in 14 deaths. During the fire, many saleswomen in kimono were forced onto the roof of the eight-story building. Rumors later spread that some of these women refused to jump into safety nets held by firefighters on the ground. Traditionally, women did not wear undergarments with kimono, and they were afraid they would be exposed and ashamed if they jumped. As a result, they died. This news attracted attention from as far away as Europe, and it has been alleged that in the aftermath of the fire, department store management ordered saleswomen to wear panties or other underwear with their kimono, and, they, and the trend spread. Contrary to this belief, Shoichi Inu, a Japanese customs and architecture professor at the International Research Center of Japanese Studies, has denied the story of the ambivalent women with fatal modesty. According to Inu, most people were saved by the firefighters, and the story of women who preferred to die with their modesty intact was fabricated for Westerners. The story has been prevalent in many reference books, even published by the firefighting agency. Moreover, the Japanese generally believe that the Shir Shirokiya department store fire was a catalyst for changing fashion customs, especially the trend towards wearing Western-style panties. However, there is no evidence to substantiate the belief. Hitogata Commercial White humanoids, white people, or white humans, often short simply to Hitogata, is an urban legend dating back to 2004 on an anonymous Japanese message board website 2Channel. Users believe that this media piece is either a PSA shown in schools or a commercial that aired late at night. Testimonies and eyewitness accounts vary, but the general premise stays the same. The sound of a railroad crossing sign rings in the background as two white, featureless human figures appear on the screen. When one figure fades out, another fades in. Text is displayed on the screen with some reports of the narrator saying, every two seconds someone dies on the earth. The time varies between eyewitness accounts originating in 2004. Numerous recreation recreation videos depict these two white, featureless figures. The commercial has not been found despite considerable search efforts and still remains an urban legend. Supernatural Legends Akamanto, or Red Cloak Akamanto is described as a male spirit who wears a red cloak and a mask which hides his face and is said to haunt public or school bathrooms and often specifically the last stall of female bathrooms. According to legend, individuals using a toilet in such bathrooms may be asked by Akamanto to choose between red and paper or to choose between red paper or blue paper. In some versions, the options will be red or blue cloaks rather than paper. Choosing the red option results in the fatal lacerations or flaying, while choosing the blue option results in strangulation or all of the individual's blood being drained from their body. Picking a color which has not been offered leads to the individual being dragged to an underworld or hell, and in some accounts, choosing yellow results in the person's head being pushed into the toilet. 
ignoring the spirit, rejecting both options offered by the spirit, escaping the bathroom, or a combination of the aforementioned methods are said to result in the individual's survival. Cursed Kleenex Commercial In the 1980s, Kleenex released three Japanese commercials for their tissues, featuring a woman played by actress Heiko Matsuzaka, dressed in a white dress and a child dressed as a Japanese ogre, sitting on straw. Each as advertisement had the song It's a Fine Day by Edward Bartman and Jane, playing in the background. Allegedly, viewers began to file complaints with television stations and with Kleenex Corporation headquarters because they found the commercial unnerving, and some supposedly claimed that the song sounded like a German curse, despite the lyrics being in English. False rumors about the cast and crew are purported to have circulated, including that all those involved in filming the commercial met untimely deaths and accidents that Matsuzaka was institutionalized after a mental breakdown, or that Matsuzaka became pregnant with a demon child. The demon child was supposed to be a character to be the character 10 from the anime Urusai Yatsura. The Curse of the Colonel The Curse of the Colonel is supposedly suffered by the Henshin Tigers baseball team cited as the cause of their poor performance in the Japan Championship Series. In 1985, fans of the Hanshin Tigers celebrated their team's first and only victory of the series, and in their excitement threw a statue of Colonel Sanders, the founder and mascot of KSC, into the Dutonbori River. For several years after the incident, the team failed to win the championship again, and some fans believe the team would never do so again until the statue was recovered. The legend is similar in nature to the Curse of the Bambino. Gozu, meaning cowhead. Gozu, also known as Oxhead, is a Japanese urban legend about a fictional story called Cowhead. Supposedly, the Cowhead the story is so horrifying that people who read it or hear it are overcome with fear so great that they tremble violently for days on end until they die. The full story was broken up into fragments that, when read individually, are not lethal, but still bring great pain and suffering upon those who read or listen to their words. The Cowhead story was rumored to be an unpublished piece from sci-fi writer Sakio Komatsu, but there is no evidence to link the author to the legend. A Ukrainian folktale called Cow's Head, Cow's Head Exists about a woman who receives good fortune by offering food and shelter to a disembodied cow's head who visits her one night. A Gion Matsuru folktale called Soman Shorai exists about a poor but charitable person who receives good fortune by saving a tourist, Gozu Tenu, who was looking for a place to stay the night on his journey. Hanako-san of the Toilet Hanako-san, or Tore no Hanako-san, is a legend about a spirit of a young girl named Hanako who haunts school bathrooms. Different versions of the story include that Hanako-san is the ghost of a girl who committed suicide during an air raid in World War II. And she committed suicide after getting bullied and hated by other students or mates, so she committed suicide in the school bathroom. Rumors and legends about Hanako-san have achieved notable popularity in Japanese primary schools, where children may challenge classmates to try and summon Hanako-san. Inikoshira Park Curse in Onigashira Park, Tokyo, there is a shrine to the goddess Benzaiten, as well as Inokoshira Pond, a lake where visitors can rent rowing boats. There is an urban legend which states that if a couple rides in a boat together, their relationship will end prematurely. In some versions of the legends, happy couples who visit the park will be cursed by the jealous Benzaiten, which will cause them to break up. Jin Menken, Human Faced Dog. Jinmenken are dogs with human faces that are said to appear at night in Japanese urban areas. They are rumored to be able to run along highways at extremely high speeds, which allows them to overtake cars and then look back at drivers with their human faces. Jinmenken can talk, but prefer to be left alone. In some stories, which are often presented as comedic, where an individual may encounter a dog rummaging through garbage, only for the dog to look up, revealing itself as a Jinmenken, with its human face and say something like, leave me alone! Explanations for Jinmenken include that they are genetic experiment, experiments, or that Jinmenken is the ghost of a human who was struck by a car while walking a dog. 
The concept of dogs with human faces dates back to at least as early as 1810, when a human-faced puppy was reportedly exhibited in the Misamono. Rumors about Jamaican may also have circulated among surfers in the 1950s, but the modern concept of the legend is the first known to have spread across Japan in 1989. Additionally, Jinmenken, or human-faced dogs, have made appearances in various media. A dog with a human face appears in the 1978 American film Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and Jinmenken have been featured in the anime and video game franchise Yokai Watch. Kokuri is a Japanese game which became popular during the Medjai era. The game is similar to the use of a Ouija board, though rather than using a store-bought board with letters and a planchet, players write down hiragana characters and place their fingers on a coin before asking Kokuri-san a question. This is a popular game in Japanese high school. Legends about the game include Kokuri-san only telling players the date of their death, while others say that one can ask Kokuri-san anything but one must finish the game either by saying goodbye to Kokori-san before leaving the table or by disposing of the Kokori game utensils within a specific time limit, such as spending the coin or using up the ink and the pen used to write the hiragana. Kuchisake Ona, Slit-Mouthed Woman Kuchisake Ona is the urban legend with the, about a malevolent spirit, or Onryu, of a woman with a mutilated mouth. She is said to partially cover her face with a mask or, a, or object and reportedly carries a sharp tool of some kind, such as a knife or a large pair of scissors. According to popular legend, she will ask potential victims if they think she is attractive. If an individual responds with no, she will kill them with her weapon. If they say yes, she will then reveal that the corners of her mouth have been slit from ear to ear. If the individual again responds that she is unattractive, or if they scream in fright, she will kill them with her weapon. If they say yes, she will cut the corners of their mouth in such a way that it mimics her disfigurement. Attempting to flee Kuchisaki Ona will also result in death. To, to survive an encounter with her, it is said that individuals may answer her question with a response that confuses her, describing her appearance as average, distracting her with money or hard candy or saying the word pom pomade, pomade three times. Some believe that she had a slip mouth because she cheated on her samurai husband who discovered and sliced her mouth. A few months later, she committed suicide. Teke Teke or Kashimo Riko. Teke Teke is the ghost of a young woman or schoolgirl who fell on a railway line, which resulted in her body being cut in half by a train. She is an onryu, a vengeful spirit who lurks around urban areas and train stations at night. Since she no longer has lower extremities, she travels on either her hands or elbows, dragging her upper torso and making a scratching or tick tick like sound. If she encounters a potential victim, she will chase them and slice them in half of the torso with her scythe or another weapon. In some versions, the tick tick story, the spirit is identified as Kashimo Reiko, who is said to have died when her legs were severed from her body by a train. According to legend, her legless ghost haunts bathrooms, asking occupants if they know where her legs are. If a questioning individual replies with an answer that Kashimo deems unacceptable, she will tear or cut their legs off. Individuals may escape Kashimo by revealing that her legs are on the Machine Expressway, or by answering her question with the phrase Kamen Shinen Ma, which translates to Mass Death Demon. And that, that's the end of uh, Japanese legends. There's a few that I skipped, so come and check it out on the Wikipedia page because they're pretty cool. Pretty interesting. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.